Hello everybody and welcome to my second book recommendations video. I did one of these about four or five months ago, but since then you guys have been requesting that I do an updated version, so that's what we're going to be doing today. A couple of these books that I'll be sharing with you guys today are repeats from my last video because, you know, I just love these books so much. But a majority of them are new books that were not recommended in my last video. I'm just going to be putting this out there. These books are in no particular order, so I do not favor some of these books over the other. They're in no order from favorite to least favorite. Nada. Nothing. Nope. Okay, yeah, let's move on. Just wanted to say that so you guys don't think that I favor some of these books over the other. Because I love all these books so much. So the first book I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is Branded by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalakiki. Branded follows the story of this girl named Lexi and she gets thrown into the hole. But really guys, the hole really sucks because if you commit one of the seven deadly sins in their society, you get thrown in the hole put you there. The Hole is a type of concentration camp type place in the future. This is a dystopian novel. It's really unique and interesting in that matter because it's very, very blunt with what they have in it. It's very gruesome, but then again, it's very beautiful. It's a wonderful story and I just loved it so much. It's one of my favorite dystopian novels now out there. It's just this book, guys. This book is just something special and unique and it's nothing like the other dystopian novels that have been released before. So I highly recommend this book because it's just fantastic and the cover is beautiful. And also it has a swoon the guy named Cole in it. Cole is in the military. He's a sexy military guy. Yes. I ship Cole Lexi. I'm just saying. They belong together. So this next book series just came out this year and the first book is called White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And don't let the covers fool you guys. This book series is so so, so, so good. It has gargoyles in it. This girl, she's half gargoyle, half demon, and she lives amongst gargoyles, and it takes place in modern society, but it's just so interesting. The plot line is so gripping. Guys, if you don't know me or do you not know that I love Jennifer L. Armentrout, now you know I love this author. Jennifer L. Armentrout sure knows how to tell a story in such a beautiful way, but then again, it has like a smoke and romance in it, and it has this really, really breakneck action. It's just so, so good. I just love it and I got an arc of the next book which is Stone Cold Touch just as good guys just as good usually second books in series are not as good as the first book but guys let me tell you these are pretty even they're both fantastic and it has Roth in it and Roth is so And since we're talking about Jennifer L. Armentrout, I'm just going to be recommending the new covers of the Lux series. If you do not know, I love the Lux series so much. It's my favorite series ever out there. It has aliens in it, and I love aliens. But guys, these are amazing books, and they just came out with these new covers. I have the other cover up over here. Here's the other cover. <laughs> They're just so... This book series is just amazing. They have two books in each of these books, so it's kind of like combined. Because this one has Obsidian and Onyx, and this one has Opal and Origin. And then the last book in the series which is opposition comes out this august and that will be in the same type of format as this one so i'm really excited for that book guys just get this series two words guys damien black mm -hmm. the next book is cinder by marissa meyer cinder is a story that loosely follows the storyline of cinderella the fairy tale and this follows the story of cinder a cyborg and she is awesome she has a mechanical foot mechanical arm and it's so interesting because this is a sci-fi novel if you guys do not know i love sci-fi it's my favorite genre ever and when i picked this book up it was so gripping i opened up the first page and then it just sucked me in and wouldn't let me go so worth the time i've spent in solitude <laughs> do that a lot. This next book is the reason why I'm obsessed with bagpipe music. I've been listening it for hours straight. It's, I don't know if it's unhealthy, but you know, I like it. This book is Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. This book follows two girls, McKenna and Veronica, their best friends, and they go to Scotland, but then all of a sudden they get sucked into this alternate reality of Scotland, which is called Dune. It's a hidden kingdom, hidden from our world, and it's so interesting. It's based off of the play called Bridge of Dune. I think that's how you pronounce it. And you get to meet princes and Celts and awesome sexy accents and mystery and fortune and ooh. Usually I'm not that into dual point of views when it's between two girls because they're like best friends, but honestly this book did it flawlessly. It was so good and I just ended up loving the story and it's one of my favorite books of this year so far, hands down. I'm currently reading an arc of the second book which is Destined for Dune and it is just as good and I just can't put it down. Like literally I, had, I was reading it before this and I'm like, like, do I want to film a video or do I want to read this book? It's a hard choice. Really hard choice. 
But I filmed this video because I love you guys. <laughs> but I'm gonna be bringing this after. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> I'll be your queen. The next book is Alienated by Melissa Landers, and if you have not heard me talk about this book and rant about it, how beautiful it is, then where have you been? I actually did an interview with the author when I was at RT Book Lovers Convention in New Orleans this year, so go check it out after you're done viewing this video because we fangirl about aliens, about TV shows, and we learn about her upcoming projects, so it was quite amazing and I loved interviewing her. Melissa Landers is amazing. She actually just signed a contract for her new book, which is called Starflight, and it sounds so good, and I cannot wait to get my hands on a copy. I really can't wait. Alienated is about an alien named Alex and a human named Kara. And Alex goes on a foreign exchange program to Earth and stays with Kara. And it's really foreign exchange, like intergalactic foreign exchange. I want to do that. I would so participate in that. If aliens ever like touch on Earth, I would probably be the person like, take me to your planet. What do you know? Another sci-fi book, which is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. This book is about Lilac and Tarver. Tarver is a major in the army and Lilac is the daughter of the richest man in the universe and they crash land on a planet together and they have to survive this planet, just the two of them, while everybody else is who knows where. But this book is ultimately about survival and love and just fighting to survive and it was just so so beautiful and just so spectacular and I couldn't put it down guys. And I'm really excited about the next book guys because it takes place in the same world but with different main characters and it just sounds so, so good and I need to, I need to get it. I, I need it. The next book is The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Neto. This is the first and second book. Look how funny the sizes are. I need to get the new cover of this book because it needs to be even. It's like, it's like a baby. It's like a baby compared to Rebellion. It's so cute. But for all you high fantasy lovers out there, you're gonna love this book. It's about angels and demons and mystery and just suspense and nonstop action. And it bases around this guy named Isaac and Isaac has to discover the mysteries of where his parents have gone, what the heck's going on in this world. I don't wanna spoil it too much because this book, you just wanna go into it like, you don't wanna go into it like not knowing anything about it, but that's all you need to know. You just need to know it's about like angels and demons and Lucifer, it's about Lucifer's diary. Yes, Lucifer writes a diary. But it's so interesting, guys. If you love high fantasy, you're definitely gonna adore this book because it's very fast-paced, and I love fast-paced books, and this is definitely fast-paced, and you can read it in a day if you wanted to because you don't want to put it down. I didn't want to put it down, that's for sure. The next book is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, and oh my gosh, I just finished the second book in the series, which is Crown of Midnight, and I need Air of Fire. That's for sure, Air of Fire. I need you. That ending. <laughs> These books are just so amazing. This is how a book should be written. It's like high fantasy takes place in this other kingdom and it based around this girl named Selena. And Selena is an assassin and she has to compete against other assassins to become the king's champion. And the champion will go ahead and assassinate all the king's enemies and all that stuff. That was a really bad summary, but just guys. That's all you need to know. This book is so good. And it has Dorian in it, and it has Kale in it, and us oh, two sworn worthy guys. Like, what more can a girl ask for? Nothing. And the second book in the series, guys, is even better than the first one. And that's saying a lot because the first one is fantastic. So, this one and the ending of this one, if you know what I'm talking about. What? Mind blown! Oh! Wow, yeah. And lastly is my first ever witch book and that is Hex by Michelle Cries. And this book was so mysterious and so magical and just so cool and awesome and just, ah, oh, I need the next one also because the ending makes me question a lot of things, a lot of things. Hex is about this girl named Indy who figures out that she's a witch and she has to come to the sense of her powers while these guys are coming at her because her mother has this Bible that's this witch's Bible that can end all of witch life as we know it. Or they know it because who knows if witches are alive in this world, but maybe they, they could be alive in our reality. You never know. You never know. Oh my gosh, I wonder if they are. 
But this book is really awesome because it does not force you into this world right away. It kind of gradually goes into it and you get to discover things as Indy discovers it. And the emotional toll of this book is very strong, but it's very wonderful. And something happened in this book that really I could relate to. So reading this book and seeing her emotions and compared it to how mine were when this event happened, it was really, really similar. And I really love this about this book because it is true, it is real, and there's nothing really fake about it besides if there's the witch aspect of it but you never know if witches could be real but guys this book was so beautiful and just so amazing and ah, I've been saying amazing a lot in these in these recommendations but you know it was amazing and that really just captured this novel and cannot wait for the next one because I want to see her more witchy powers and awesomeness and she was a cheerleader she was also a cheerleader and I used to be a cheerleader Woo! that was a kick you couldn't see it though Woo! that was really bad Oh my gosh, guys, I almost forgot. The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. I didn't see it wedged in between my two books. Yes, get this book, guys. It's about a world where the birth rate is lower than the death rate. Like, oh, lots of death. That is a lot of death. But guys, this book is awesome. And, and, hold up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm in the acknowledgments. You can't really see it right here, but I'm right there in the acknowledgments, like right there. Can't see it though. Kind of fangirl over that because Lindsay is awesome. So go get this book, guys. I, I really did love this book. And I read it in January and I still love it today. It was a great debut novel. And the next book is going to be even more fantastic. I can already bet that it will be because this book was really awesome in the ending. Cliffhanger, Lindsay. Not cool, but really cool. <laughs> really cool. So that is all for my second book recommendations video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have read any of these beautiful books that I mentioned to you guys today, please tell me your thoughts on them in the comment box below. I can help people do this. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh. I'm sorry, babies. I hate dropping books. Damn it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!